Come on, then, Rasa. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Thank you guys for clicking on this video. Hey, look at look what I found. Look what I found. It says easy to load and easy to launch. Easy to load and launch, guys. This shit should have been on me when I was born because that's me. I'm easy to load, easy to launch. <laughs> I'm just playing, guys. Hey, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and you guys are happy. If you guys aren't happy, go eat some ass. You guys need to smile, shit. It's fucking, you guys are living in shit. But guys, welcome back. Uh, this is video. I told you guys we're gonna be doing this bitch louder. We're making this truck a lot louder. We're actually installing a four channel amp on the door speakers in this truck. Also, we're gonna get it ready with the wiring and stuff. So later on when I add like the subs and stuff like that, it's just the wiring's back there, guys. So yeah, it's gonna be like a little series, guys, I'm gonna do throughout the year. It's gonna be four videos. Um, in this video, like I said, I'm gonna be installing a four channel amp, making these doors louder, and then also the wiring. Next week, guys, I'm gonna be installing door speakers on the truck, so stay tuned for that. And then probably in the springtime, I'm gonna be doing my subwoofers. I'm probably gonna go with the DS18 box, guys. They have this special box that has six, six and a half subs that go under the back of the seat, and it's gonna be badass as fuck. Um, my other truck, I had four, four, six and a half, so this one's gonna be six, so it's probably gonna be louder. I um, mean, also, probably in the summertime, I'm actually gonna do something kind of crazy. I'm gonna be putting outside doors, uh, outside speakers, like the ones that go on the razors or bolts and shit, and I'll put them in the, in the trunk of the truck, in the bed of the truck, I mean, and fucking let it be loud outside guys make a party and shit but yeah so that's what we're gonna be doing guys shit hold on i have fucking worms in my ass so i can't get like comfortable but yeah guys we're gonna be doing that i'm gonna show you guys kind of what uh what i bought so like i was telling you guys in the last video on my uh five reasons why i went with this ford i told you i'll link it right here so you guys can watch it but i went with uh, expensive harnesses because look this is the thing so with ford they have this uh factory sink uh system and most of the times people don't change it out to like a aftermarket one guys because this has everything on here guys it has like you know your clock for whenever you have a sneaky link and shit um 911 because i'm the police guys and then like my massage chairs and my ambient lighting you know and if i switch over to a different one like a aftermarket one it's not going to have those features so most of the time we actually have to stay with this uh with this stereo and the thing with that also is that we have to go with these harnesses because you could probably splice and shit into the wires and like do it cheaper, but I don't know how to do that, guys. And I want to fuck it up. So this company right here, Pack, they make uh, harnesses. This is an expensive one. This one was like 380 bucks, guys. This one goes behind the stereo and gives it RCAs to run to the back to the app. And then since I told you guys had a premium Sony sound system, I had to do this one. This this one goes directly to the amp, and these are the speaker wires that go to the the aftermarket amp. And that's what makes the you know the door speakers louder and this is a part number for this one guys if you guys need it so yeah so i had to get these this one was like 60 bucks 50 bucks i think so this one wasn't too bad but man this one was really expensive but also i went with two of these cables guys um the wiring kits they're zero gauge you don't have to go zero gauge the reason i went zero gauge is because i'm doing that crazy shit with the uh, putting speakers in the bed and shit so i'd rather have the wiring ready instead of instead of uh, switching it out again to zero gauge anyways so if you guys aren't doing that crazy shit you guys can get away with four gauge but man these were 120 each and i had to get two the reason i got two was because with these fords guys um i was just reading that you know they're aluminum bodies so it's i guess it's really hard to get a ground especially when i'm at all the amps i'm gonna be adding so it's better just to run it from the battery all the way to the back and it was just kind of cheaper to do it this way just because um for a power wire just by itself a zero gauge ofc is like 80 90 bucks that was 120 and i get extra rcas fuses remote wires all that shit so i just went that way guys and look, look and then this is the amp i went with guys um it's a terra amps i don't know if you guys know terra amps man but they they go pretty hard and they're not that expensive um this is a 440 440 uh watt amp four channel guys it's not that big look when i got it it's fucking tiny but i've dealt with these in the past guys um the truck that did my sound system my other f-150s they actually recommended me these and they put them on my other f-150s and for the price guys these shit bang no lie so i went with this this one was like 80 bucks guys on amazon i'm gonna link all this down below um so you guys can go and like purchase it guys and you know get your build going um so guys i know a little bit about car audio i've, I've done some shit in the past you know i've hooked up subs all that shit for uh four channels and stuff but on these newer trucks it's a lot more difficult so that's why i'm kind of like you know i'm learning on the way so hopefully this works guys and i'm gonna bring you guys along but yeah that's what we got um well, let's get started man i'm gonna start with the power wires from the batteries back and then the then i'm gonna start doing the harness on the stereo and then running the rcas back and then yeah guys i'm gonna start getting all that shit done but yeah guys i'll keep you guys updated we're gonna do little clips here and there and i'll explain what i did but man stay tuned guys man keep it you know keep uh 
you know what the fuck am i saying i don't even know what the fuck i'm saying guys but yeah stay tuned guys i just i have little clips of me doing shit but yeah we'll be right back guys stay tuned all right all right, guys. Hey, so we're back. Little update. I think I got the hardest part done. Um, to me, the hardest part is running the power wires from the battery to inside the truck, and I got it kind of done. So, so look, this is what's going on. So, on these Fords, guys, um, the battery is on the passenger side, and a lot of people, what they do is, um, there's a grommet over there. I don't know if you guys can see it. I'm pointing right at it. I'll show you guys, but people run the power wire through here and then over the engine bay right here and then they go to that grommet. Yeah, I'll show you. So they go to this grommet right there and it makes it easy for them to get it in inside the truck because it's, it's just right under like the pedals. But um, I am running two, uh, two zero gauge, you know, so it's gonna be thick as fuck. So the, the initially what I was gonna do was I was gonna run it through here and there's like a little grommet right there. But man, that grommet is really hard to get to. Like, you pretty much gotta remove the dash, I feel like, to get to that bitch. And then drill holes to get the wires through. But, so I found a different way. It's a little bit more extra step, guys, but it's a much cleaner look, I think. But it involves me removing this tire. So I had to remove the tire. I had to remove the part of the wheel weld. Look at my hands, guys. Shit, that's how you know you do your own work, guys. All right? Shit, I'm doing my own shit. But um, yeah, guys, so uh, there was a little grommet right there in these holes right here. I removed it and then I drilled them out and I had a, I ran them through here. And it's pretty dope because they actually come out right here by the foot thing, by the foot wheel thing. Right here, they come out right here. There's a little, there's a hole right here and they come out and now you can run them through inside the truck. So I think that shit's dope, guys. Um, It's hella cold. I had to get my other coat. My car, my car heart coat, guys. Uh, it's freezing out here. I'll show you guys how cold it is. But I am almost 27 degrees. But fuck it, man. Yeah, we gotta make the mamalona loud, guys. So yeah, so I'm just gonna run the, I'm gonna run the wires through here, then to the back seat, and that'd be probably the hardest part, cause. Like I said, it's always finding how to get the wires in the truck. Yeah, so let me just finish up running all the wires back here, and then I'll show you guys when I'm opening up the stereo, guys. All right, I'll be right back. All right, guys. So we're back right here. Um, so yeah, you guys see me install the wires, the power wires back. I put the whole trims, all that shit back together. Now I got the stereo taken out a little bit. So here, here's this, guys. It's not that hard to take out. Pretty much, you have to take off the grill off of this little speaker, take the grill off, and then there's two bolts like on the front. You take those off and it just pops off. So it just pops off right here. And then there's three bolts right here on this, uh, you know, on the where the where the stereo goes. And then that just pops out. You disconnect it, and then you put that there. And then there's six screws on the LCD and four on this uh, like the CD player thing. But anyways, so this is what this is what the harness is. So the harness is pretty much the T harness right here. It's this this is it. And then this is the the thing that creates the RCAs, so it's for RCAs for your subs, RCAs for your front, rear, I mean for your rear, right, and left, and then your front, rear, right, uh, right, left, sorry guys, and then you just hook it up to here, and then this is where your uh, base knob goes, I guess they, they provide this base knob for like, I guess, chimes or some shit in the, in the truck, so they said just to keep it hooked on and have it somewhere, and this is the instruction guys, so... Pretty much, those are the harness. That's the harness that goes to the vehicle, and these go to the radio, radio. So, and then the remote turn on, and then you hook it up to that, and then you run your RCAs. And um, it's as easy as that. That's the whole reason I got that was just because I don't, I don't know how to splice into that shit or nothing. But man, that was how much was it? Did I take it like 380 or some shit like that? 280. Yeah, it was really expensive though. But I mean, I think it's worth it because all you gotta do is plug that in, and it gives you a remote and your RCAs, and you just start uh. You know working on your amps so yeah guys just a little update i'm gonna start hooking everything up and probably start removing the trims because i have to run the rcas and the and the remote wire through the driver's side because i did the power wire and the ground through the passenger side so now i'm gonna do it through this side and i'm gonna start doing that it's getting a little dark guys so hopefully i can finish or you know get close to finishing before that because you know gopro suck and that's what i'm using so yeah guys let me just go ahead and keep doing that and I'll keep you guys updated, but yeah, that's pretty much it. We're almost done. Buenos dias, guys. Good morning. This is day two of the install. Like I was telling you guys last night, it was getting kind of cold. 
I mean, not cold, fuck, it is cold, but like, it was getting dark last night, guys, and I couldn't record. I didn't want to get too ahead of myself because I did want to show you guys the uh, install. So, pretty much last night, what I did is we actually ran the RCAs from the stereo down to the uh, back of the truck, and also we got the wiring kind of done on the battery where the battery goes to the terminals. We got all the, what do you call it, like the little shit you put, uh, I forgot what they're called, the little little round rings that go on the battery and you put the bolt on guys i'll show you guys in a little bit but yeah so we got the we got it all ran through we put all the trim back we got three rcas right here as you guys can maybe see so we got all three rcas and the remote wire so we got that ran through <clears throat> um and also i don't know if you guys can see the power wires right there we had to get the fucking heater guys out because it's freaking freezing now that we're talking about it let me show you guys how cold it is right now 18 degrees guys but aquí andamos a la madre guys and look you guys can see the frost on the truck but yeah guys oh yeah i'm gonna show you how cold it is man uh there's so we have sodas in the back man they were exploding guys just how cold it is look i'll show you look at that shit Got some beer too look at that. damn how cold it is out here guys it's fucking freezing but but yeah guys so this is what i was talking about these little rings right here i forgot what they're called but we got these kind of done this one looks a little weird because i don't have a crimper this size for zero gauge but we got this one done and then we got the fuse block already installed so pretty much guys what we're going to do now is we're just going to go ahead and um start putting the wiring into the factory amp and getting that shit wired up to the four channel so we're gonna start doing that guys and i'll be back to show you guys kind of where we're at all right i'll be back all right guys hey look so i got my buddy heater right here guys making it nice and warm here shit if you guys don't got one you guys work on your car outside man get one of this shit's the best guys but anyways uh, let me grab this packaging so this is what we're gonna be installing right now guys we're actually gonna be doing the the speaker wiring to the door speakers so it comes with these uh three harnesses <clears throat> but we're only going to be using these two this one is for like if you guys want to amplify the stock sub which is this one but we're not going to be doing that either, so we're not going to be using it but this one is for your uh factory door chimes so that we got to use this one and this one's actually for the speakers for the door speakers we hook this up to the amp the aftermarket amp our terra amps so those just go in here guys into this factory amp like i told you guys we have the sony sound system this thing sucks yeah. <laughs> so it's not that loud but we're gonna be hooking them here uh the harnesses and then we're gonna be running the amp and then we're gonna be plugging in the amp with the power wires and stuff like that guys so i'll be back on that guys once i get everything hooked up and show you guys kind of how it looks all right so i'll be back all right guys hey so we're almost done here guys i got everything hooked up um i kind of tested it a little bit and man it works great um the thing is, I did have some issues with the wiring, but that's because of the amp. I had to figure out how to wire like these speakers into the amp, got all that done. But look, I got the stereo kind of put back together a little bit or most of it. Um, also, this is the wiring that I did. So I told you guys last night, I ran the RCAs through here and uh, this is my sub for RCA. I, I just have it hooked up because later on when I use it, but that's for my subs. And then after my two RCAs, I go to the to this four channel so um i wired the the speakers right here guys it's only four speakers and then my my ground and my power and my remote so i bought this reducer thing guys because i told you guys on my i'm gonna be doing uh two more other amps so i had to do zero gauge and reduce it down to four gauges each um, but unfortunately i ordered two of these unfortunately the only one came so i had to kind of rig it a little bit like this to get the zero gauge to fit in here because these are small little term terminals so that was the issue with that but we got that done now i was talking to you guys about the harnesses on this uh, amp so it, this amp or the the kit comes with three or uh, three harnesses this blue one goes to the subwoofer this factory subwoofer now it's this it's this uh harness right here this is if you want to add a little amp to that subwoofer and kind of give it more power um, now this is the one we've been messing with this middle one because there's three I don't know if you guys can tell there's one two three So this one we actually disconnected and we hooked it up to uh, this harness This is a this is a harness that connects to the four channel amp So this is the one we disconnected and we hooked it up to the wiring now This is the third harness I was telling you guys about that. It's for the door chimes now I hooked it up just like that 
without doing anything to it and the the chimes from the doors were hella loud because this thing was powering it now i they said to uh have this one power it like normal like how it is stock to just cut these uh resistors off so so usually where's the other this, so this one's gray this one was going to the other gray wire i'm trying to find it guys anyways so it was just like this it was kind of like a loop it was kind of a looped um wire on all of these resistors so all i did is just cut them and left them like this and i just kind of taped them off a bit just so it wouldn't like spark or anything but that's how it is i just cut everything i cut the resistors off they look like this and i plugged it in right here and that's it guys now that just play that that uh the factory chimes play through here and they're not as loud so there's that but yeah guys i got all that done um it's as easy as that like i said just uh rcas ran through the back of the heading it back here through that t-harness and that little adapter not adapter but that little module thing that little blue one and then my power and ground like i said on these forwards i had to do a ground through the battery because they're aluminum bodies and also um i went zero gauge because i'm gonna add two other extra amplifiers guys you guys can get away with four gauge if you're just doing like a small build also kind of this only applies like this part only applies if you have the premium sound system the sony one if you guys don't you guys don't have to worry about that it's actually much easier to do it without that but we have to bypass that amp somehow but yeah guys let me clean everything up a bit like tuck everything in and uh, i'll give you guys a little listen on how it sounds man but yeah it's a lot louder guys all right so i'll be back and we'll get that done all right guys hey so we're back guys we're done you guys could tell we got all the back like cleaned up um how to use my shark vacuum right here damn to clean all the like those little strands from the power wire those little metal pieces oh, i hate that but got all that done stereos back together everything's good man Man, this, this build, guys, took a little bit longer. Well, this sound system build um, took a little bit longer than expected, as always. Man, that always happens to me. But I wanted everything just to be clean. I mean, in the past, I've just done some crappy work. But, man, on this truck, I wanted it to be clean And it, since I'm doing it myself. And it came out perfect, guys. Um, next week, guys, I'm going to be installing the door speakers. So, actually, I don't know how long these door speakers are going to last. I don't really care because we got speakers already. We got some JBL audio coaxials for the front and then some components for the back so i'll be adding tweeters to the back doors and there's tweeters already on these pillars guys um another thing i wanted to let you guys know is um so since this truck has tweeters up front right here um there was wiring for them back in the in that little harness thing but the thing is that we need passive crossovers for those guys because we can't just hook them up straight to the amp because they'll blow them so i'm going to order some passive crossovers for the for the tweeters guys and get them in install them next week with the door speakers and then it's going to be loud as shit i feel like man because we right now i'm going to test i'm going to show you guys a little test on how how, how loud it is and that's without the, the tweeters in the front and then next week man we're going to have back tweeters and front tweeters guys but yeah i'm going to turn it up to uh, i think like 18 17 that's kind of where it sounded similar to when i had it all the way max on the truck before the amp and then i'm going to show you guys once i turn it up I had to come to like an empty parking lot guys because they're probably my neighbors are probably pissed already because i've been having the music hella loud testing it back and forth but um yeah guys everything's good to go sounds amazing i love it um i hope you guys can hear the difference i'm gonna get out and walk like farther and farther so you guys can hear the difference but here we go guys i'm gonna play a song and yeah i'll be back all right guys i'm gonna play a song right here um i'm using spanish music just because i know their mids and highs hit harder so i'm just gonna do that guys but this is around where um the stock one was at so around here like around there So that stock, that was like the stock sound right there. Now I'm gonna max it out, and this is with the amplifier. It's a lot louder, guys, but I'm running out of place to walk. <laughs> but yeah, let me go turn it down, guys, and fucking show you, man. So yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that shit. I, it's a lot louder, man, that's for sure. Um, these door speakers are actually really good, man. I they they impress me. There's not there's like minor cracking to them, but they're pretty bomb. But I don't know if they're gonna be able to handle my the kind of the amp where I have it. So that's where the JBL come into uh, place, guys. But other than that, 
I hope you guys enjoyed the video, man. If you guys have any questions, comment down below. If you guys haven't yet, subscribe. Go in and subscribe, guys, man. We got a, a video coming every week. Um, but yeah, man, this truck's gonna come out badass. Also, I didn't tell you guys, I actually ordered a bumper paint match front bumper, guys. I know in the last video too, I told you guys I was gonna do, uh, I was gonna paint it myself, man. But I just, it, it seemed a lot more better to just buy one already pre-painted because I was still gonna spend money on the paint. And actually, this one has a, a couple dents on it already, and I didn't, you know, it was gonna be a lot of work to take them out. So I did that, guys. Man, a lot of content coming with this truck, guys. So yeah, if you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and subscribe now. Other than that, guys, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And again, if you guys aren't happy, go eat some mash or something, guys. Later, man. Until next week.